guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run Minecraft PC on Android. So this is a really new thing that's uh, just been out for like a week or two. It is really awesome to see that this is actually a thing now, that you can actually run a full Minecraft PC 1.7.10 on Android. This just goes to show how much cooler Android is over the iPhone. Anyways, that'll cause a lot of wars in the comments maybe. Possibly, depends who's watching. Oh well. So... Yeah, like I said, this is really awesome, but one thing I do want to point out is no matter what device you're running, this is going to have performance issues. That's just gonna how it is right now. It's extremely early versions. The fact that it even runs is actually really impressive, but it is going to have performance issues. So I'm running the Nexus 7 2013. It's, uh, it's a pretty powerful tablet. I have it overclocked, if you know what that means. Actually, I can just explain it. It's basically taking the hardware and pushing it you know, uh, beyond what it was intended to run. So it's basically making it faster. So I've overclocked the processor and the graphics processor uh, to get a little more performance out of this to see, what, you know, where I can get it. I've got a pretty significant overclock. And even then, it, you know, it's, you know, it's playable somewhat, but also not really. So even if you're running like the Galaxy Note 4, or the Galaxy S5, this is still going to have pretty bad performance issues but like I said it's in really early stages right now so the fact that it even runs is impressive so shout out to the developer and actually the developer of Boardwalk is the app uh, is the same developer of Block Launcher and Block Launcher Pro so yeah this guy is pretty freaking awesome so let's get into it so like I said the app is called Boardwalk it's on the Play Store it's free I'll have a Play Store link in the description if you want to go and download that so here's the main page it's a little you know, bland, but oh well. So you have uh, several different options here, three different options. So you can either import your credentials from the Launcher Profiles file on the PC. Uh, you can log in with your uh, Mojang username or account email and then your password, or you can play the demo if you don't play, if you don't have the full version of Minecraft. Uh, I'm currently going to be working on making it so you can actually play without having an account, play the full version without having a uh, an account. I do want to see if I can get that done. If I can, I'd post the APK for it over on my uh, my other channel, Dogger Downloads. So if you want to look that up on YouTube, just look up Dogger Downloads and you can find it, post downloads and stuff. But anyways, I'm going to hit play demo because I actually don't have the, pro ver the full version. Kind of ashamed, but I currently do not. So uh, The first time when you load the game, um, it's, uh, it's going to take a while. <laughs> Um, it's got to download and do a lot of different things that are it's just going to take quite a while to do, depending on your device. It took about five minutes on mine, which wasn't so bad. Uh, but after that, it loads really fast, actually. I was impressed. So going under here, you have your settings and stuff, all touch controls. Uh, if, you go in, if you go into your video settings, you want to make sure that your settings look like this right here. So you have your graphics set to fast, smooth lighting off, clouds off, full screen on, Met mat levels off, render distance set to two chunks, max frame rate is unlimited, view bobbing can be on or off, doesn't matter, uh, brightness can be anywhere, I'm going to actually set it to bright, particles set to min minimal, v-sync is off, and anisotropic filtering is off. So let's go play the demo world. Um, while this is loading, because it it's probably going to take a little time, I'm going to be going over the controls here. So it's not on-screen controls like Pocket Edition. All the controls are currently up in the top left. I don't think they're probably I don't think they're going to stay there because it is kind of a dumb place to put them. Um, but it is more of like a testing purpose, really. So at this point, you know, I don't really care. They can be up there all they want. It's not really realistic to play this, you know, the PC version on mobile right now. But oh well. So if I want to hit it forward, it'll go. So let's give it a little bit of time to render all the chunks and stuff because that does take time. So here we go. So I'm going to walk forward. You can see it does work. Let's see, it's opened my inventory here. You can see everything does work. Now, I'm actually just going to exit out now because with that uh, the overclock I have, it does cause some issues. While recording and playing that, it does sometimes crash the device, so I'm just going to close it there. But you could see I was running the full PC version on there. Really cool. So if you do want to try it yourself, link is in the description to the Play Store. Um, ver uh, yeah, you can download it on the Play Store. It's free. Really awesome. Can't wait to see more from this developer. So 
Even if it's laggy right now, I wouldn't delete the app because you can always get the new updates as they go and be notified about updates on the Play Store. So as it progresses, it'll probably get a lot better. So um, that's what you want to watch out for. So really quick tutorial on how to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.